Hello, and welcome to Purina's Live in the Farm Life. We know the passion you have for caring for your animals and for the life you live on your property. Here at Purina, we do the same thing every day at our 1,263 acre Animal Nutrition Center in Gray Summit, Missouri. This is where we develop and research the latest in nutrition and have since 1926. So from our farm to yours, let's live the farm life together. Welcome to another episode of Purina's Living the Farm Life. And today, we're up in this beautiful location here at the beef unit at Purina Animal Nutrition Center. And we're here to talk about mineral. And I'm here with Dr. Elizabeth Blue, or as we like to call her, Dr. Eby, because she lets us and it's easier to say. Uh, we're gonna talk about mineral. And you know, Dr. Eby, um, you know me, I like to keep things simple. <laughs> so I talk about the power of three when I talk about mineral. You know, cattle need mineral. Uh, nutrition because forages are deficient. They got to eat it, right? And then Purina has whatever mineral we may need for those particular situations. So you, do you agree with that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> that that helps. Um, so I talk about cattle need mineral. What? What do we mean by that? Yeah, so cattle require 14 essential minerals. And if you're wondering what those essential minerals are, just pick up a bag of wind and rain. It has the list of all of the essential macro and micro minerals that cattle need. Also, we know that minerals are the foundation to any good nutrition program because minerals help with every biological function. Every biological function that cattle endure throughout the day, whether that be fetal development or immune function, bone development are all regulated by minerals. And if you're wondering what those different biological functions are, again, you can pick up a bag of wind and rain mineral and see what those are uh, and refresh your memory there. Good. And we know it can make, just from that discussion, we know it can make a huge difference in performance, you know, mm -hmm. health, reproduction, all those things that really help to pay the bills. Right. But sometimes we're looking at at, at how does that affect uh, what the cattle can get from the rest of their nutrition, mm -hmm. right? right. Um, uh, as a rancher or farmer, your biggest resource is going to be your forage, right? And we want to make sure that we get the most out of that forage that you have on your home place. And so by feeding cattle mineral, particularly phosphorus, we can help with forage utilization and forage digestion. Um, Cattle, cattle require mineral, but also the bugs too. And to feed the cow, you have to feed the bugs. And if you don't do that right, uh, forage utilization is gonna be impacted. And so by feeding those bugs, particularly phosphorus, it helps those bugs do what they do and digest forages. And one way that you can really look to see if your nutrition program is working for you is look at what comes out the back end. Uh, we joke about um, my, my liking of talking about poop scores, but it's something that you guys can measure. It's something that you guys can see, Rod, on a daily basis to tell you how your nutrition program is, is working. And by having good mineral program, feeding those bugs, you're gonna impact your biggest resource, which is your forage. Uh, so getting, getting um, you know, proper utilization, that is really important. Well, Eby, you make a great point about the phosphorus. You know, when we're feeding cows low quality forage, which let's face it, when we're feeding brood cows, most of the time it's low quality forage. We really tend to concentrate on, on some of the other macros, like we've got to get protein in those cows, which we do, and, um, and energy. But I think we neglect that the bugs, a lot of times, their first limiting nutrient is phosphorus. So we can just really help, help pay off getting more forage through, which means that the cows are going to get more protein and more energy right. to meet their needs. So, so that's, that's a really good point. But you know, something that's a really f popular, mm -hmm. I think still today, um, is, is using trace mineral salt blocks and, and think that we're putting out a mineral program. But trace mineral salt blocks don't have any phosphorus in them, do they? Right. It really, they're pretty much 98% salt. Okay. And I, I told you guys that cattle have a requirement for 14 essential minerals, all right? 14 essential minerals. Yeah, you are going to get some trace minerals out of this, um, but predominantly salt. And so if we think about what, what a, a five cow herd would utilize on a year-round basis. If we think about just copper, just elemental copper, right? 
we're going to get the same elemental copper out of these nine bags for those five cows as what we would in a ton of trace mineral blocks. That's just elemental copper, right? That doesn't get into quality of copper, bioavailability. Uh, and they would have to eat about a pound of it. A pound? A pound of this trace mineral block to get the same a amount. Pound a, a pound a day. A pound a day. Yeah. That's right. And it's just like I said, minute trace minerals, you get some salt, but you're not getting phosphorus, you're not getting mag, you're not getting any of those other essential minerals that we talk about from a from a balanced nutrition program also you're not going to get any vitamins and we know that vitamins are important too from a nutrition standpoint and and um again you're going to get that in the in a balanced vitamin and nutrition program mineral nutrition program right yeah and vitamins are important and sometimes right. we overlook those mm -hmm. you know when, when we go to the store uh, as, as people, we want to go buy a vitamin supplement, right, which has mineral in it. Mm -hmm. But when we go to buy it for our cows, we buy a mineral supplement, mm -hmm. which actually has vitamins in it. Right. So it's a little bit backwards. So, so we're talking about trying to get that into them um, because the second thing is they've got, they've got to eat it. Got to eat it. And we know they can't eat that much of, right. of this. Cattle are only really crave about an ounce of salt a day, and there's quite a few more ounces in a pound, right? There are quite a few. <laughs> but we're getting more stuff here with this, too. And, and we've worked on consumption or making sure that it gets into the cow right. with yeah. the perineum minerals. Um, through the, the research here that the beef unit has done over the past several years, right, the consistency of mineral intake on a day-to-day -day basis, right, if cattle aren't eating it, they're not going to get any benefit of it. And so the team worked really hard to, to get to that four ounce on a loose mineral so that they're getting those 14 essential minerals and vitamins on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. And that's huge. I mean, a lot of people don't, don't think about that, but it's difficult to, to zero in on that intake for these, these big cows. Right. Right. And, and sometimes we think about, you know, the cows that are eating on the higher end of things being the costly aspect, but I would beg to differ that I think the cows that aren't eating mineral are the ones that are probably costing us on the cattle side from lost production, lost weaning weights, lost reproductive performance. And so getting that consistent intake is going to help narrow all those down. Right. And so we've got a couple different ways that we can do that. I guess, so I guess uh, cattle need mineral. We got that done. Uh, <laughs> they got to eat it. So we talked about that a little bit. And we've got a variety of choices that they can have to, to get a, a total all seasons mineral program. Yeah. And so we got the, the different color bags here. And, and uh, I know when I'm visiting with producers out in the country, they'll say, I feed the red bag or I feed the gold bag. Um, they all do have kind of a different purpose. And from an all seasons perspective in the red bag, like it says, Rod, you can feed it all seasons. Uh, we have a high mag bag that would be, you know, really designed for that uh, those situations where you got that lush green grass growing in the springtime. Uh, the purple bag is really our elite breeder, breeder mineral uh, designed for high reproductive performance. And then our yellow bag or our gold bag is fly control uh, that has our feed through uh, uh, Altacid product or Central Life Sciences feed through Altacid product in it to help with horn fly control. So really just kind of depends on what, what we're trying to get accomplished on a year round basis. And we have the tub up. In the tub, yep. And um, with a 225 pound tub, uh, which means, you know, you probably need some help putting it out in the pasture, but uh, you know, it does supply quality nutrition. You do need to feed salt with that mineral. Uh, there is not salt in that product. Um, so you do need to feed free choice salt with that, but really good way to get consistent consumption on, on that herd. Great. E.B., thanks a lot. You've done a great job of covering all three things that we talked about. And thank you all for joining us for another episode of Purina's Living the Farm Life. For more information about mineral programs and what would be best in your area, visit your local Purina dealer and they can give you all the answers and product that you need. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next month on another episode of Purina's Living the Farm Life.